Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be putting the Technic Mesmerizing Pressed Pigment Palette against a look done with the Huda Emerald Obsessions. That is the look that I'm wearing today and if you want to see how I did this look then just keep on watching. Okay, so for this challenge I'm going to be using as a reference a picture from Keiko Lin, that is this one, and she used the Huda Emerald Obsessions palette. And I will leave her website in the description box. The tutorial is very, very well made. And she says she starts with the eyes primed, so I'm just going to do that very quickly with the Kiko Neutral Eye Base. I've also applied some primer on my lower lash line because I think I will be doing the entire eye at the same time. And so she starts with the second shade of the palette all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner and up to the brow bone. And she applies it really on the inner corner because she's going to use this one as a inner corner highlighter. So I think for the first step, that is basically this. And then for the second step, she uses this shade and she says from about one quarter of the way in to the outer crease, leaving a little bit of this one visible. So I would say it's from about here to the outer part. Okay, so I feel like that is it for the second step. And then for the third step, she has actually two shades. She uses a damp flat brush and she uses this shade in the middle and then she uses this one on the outer part. So I'm taking first the middle shade in the middle of my eye. This shade is really beautiful. And then for that dark shade on the outer part, She seems to angle it a little bit, so I'm also going to do that. I think I'll just clean it up after with a makeup wipe. Okay, so I think that is it for the third step. And I've also just cleaned it up a little bit because these shimmers do have a little bit of fallout. And now for the next step, she uses a flat smudger brush and she takes the shade number four on the lower lash line but she does that also to like one quarter of the way because then she fills that part with the second shade and she does this also kind of connecting it with the outer corner And then she uses the second shade, as I mentioned, on the inner part and blend it with the inner corner. I actually think I need to blend this part a little bit more.
I think the shade on the Huda palette looks a little bit lighter than this one. Okay, and then she just applies liner on the waterline. So I'm going to use the Kiko Everlasting Kajal and she does mascara and lashes. I'm only going to be doing mascara. I'm using the Flormar High Definition and that is pretty much it for the look. Okay, so the eyes are finished. I'm just going to do the rest of my face and then I'll give you a close-up. Okay, so now with the rest of my makeup done, this eye look is really pretty and for my lips I used the Soph X Revolution in the shade Cake. Okay, and this is a close-up of the eyes finished. I think the inner corner shade on the Huda palette is a little bit lighter than this one but I also really love the way this looks and this is definitely a very smoky look and she does mention this one as a green eyeshadow for a holiday look so I think this is a very beautiful look for the holidays and overall I think that with this you can have a lot of different lipstick options. You can do a gloss or a nude lipstick. You can do a kind of creamy nude like this. You can go for a matte bold red would also go really nicely with these eyes. And even though the shades are not 100% exactly the same, I think with this palette I achieved a very very similar look to the Huda Emerald Obsessions just the lighter matte shade probably the one on the Huda palette is a little bit lighter but other than that I think this look came out very very similar to this and it's probably my closest dupe from my dupe challenge series so far if you like this video don't forget to leave me a thumbs up it helps me a lot and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if you found the two looks similar. And on my next video, I'm also going to be talking about some of my eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to be doing the all about my eyeshadow palettes tag. So if you'd like to see more videos like this every Monday and Thursday, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel with the button down below if you haven't already. And that is everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.